This is the best seat for YouTube. Probably not. This, however, is a little inkling of what business I'm going to start to start. Um, but before all that, I want to tell you obviously what the business is, introduce myself, because this YouTube is numero uno, uh, which is one, not zero. And basically, this is my visual diary I want to keep up to like diarize. I think that is a word. Where I Diarise is a word, use just in. Uh, to diarise my whole um, sort of initial setup and the struggles, the success, the making from the initial idea to obviously hopefully in a few years time when I look back on a numero uno video, I'll be like, oh, I wish I'd, wish I'd never done that. I uh, wish I'd maybe changed the chair. Um, but this, as I say, is my pottery chair and the business I'm gonna set up is a pottery and ceramic business. Um, I wanna tell you a little bit about me first. I wanna tell you initially how I had the idea um, and literally just come on a journey with me. Uh, I'm Christian, nice to, nice to meet you. And if you wanna learn how to pot, I do, and I've not done it yet, I've got my first pottery class tomorrow, uh, which is very, very exciting. So I'm gonna to go to that, report back, and we'll probably do like a weekly little check-in. I don't want all these videos to be huge because I know there's nothing worse than watching like a 20 minute video. So I'm gonna get my little introduction over first, and then I wanna set a timer and literally do 10 minutes um, of talking what the plan is for, you know, the next week until, bam, we're back in the same position and we're talking again. So as I say, well, we won't do the time yet, so I'll obviously have my little intro. Um, as I say, I'm Christian, nice to meet you. Uh, my background is, well, I was a, I've been a freelance, freelance videographer for the past uh, two, three years, obviously over the pandemic, which obviously the business was just nonstop, uh, literally didn't leave my house. And uh, I've got a lot of background in social media, videos, photography. So I feel like I'm in a good position to sort of like, my job for the past few years was just to sell, you know, like shoot campaigns to sell clothing, to sell um, even drinks, cocktails, and literally everything like that. But I thought, if no one's really, I've got a little bit of a job doing, a, you know, doing my videos and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's my passion, I still want that to be my passion. But it's been so few and far between, I've just thought, right, if no one actually wants me full time to do their thing and concentrate on their dream, <coughs> pardon me, I want to keep all the coughs, you know, burps, squeaky <coughs> chairs, everything like that in, because I've learned a lot on YouTube. I did have a previous YouTube uh, where I've just talked about fashion, literally for years and years and years, fashion style normally a guy in a hat, but I thought I cannot wear a hat for this first one. Uh, you probably see me, this is probably the nicest I'm probably gonna look, uh, where I probably won't be covered in clay, probably have my hair up and all this stuff, but this is a completely new YouTube. I wanted a completely new, because I think my other YouTube, it was like, you know, I've not been paying that much attention to it, and I've had a few years, don't get me wrong, I bloody love it, I love talking, but this is so much easier from when I sat down and did that first initial YouTube, like, eight years ago on my old channel. So this is like, this is probably not gonna be he like massively heavily edited. And I just wanna go with it. I wanna be more myself on this YouTube because it's not about me, it's not about fashion, it's not about stars, it's not what you portray. It's literally about what you make and create. And I literally have loved making clay. Anything from clay models with like, uh, you know, like, you know, your first play dough to your plasticine. I love plasticine, I've made countless models, even all the way through even any job I have always had, it's always become like a de-stress. So when we're in lockdown, and when we're like these things where it's just like, all right, jobs don't matter anymore, you don't have to do anything, what do you actually like doing? I actually started to paint, because I actually, you know, like painting, and I started, the first thing I did was like, right, lockdown, what did I do? What was I getting all the drink in? No, I went online and I got loads of like, big blocks of solid color plasticine because I wanted to just sit there and make models. And this is what I've sort of like disregarded and like, obviously video is my passion. I bloody love video, but I've grown into loving video, loving like, you know, social sort of setting up campaigns and shooting different campaigns 
all over the world. I've been lucky enough to do that, uh, which has been, which I'm very thankful and grateful for. But it's just like, this has always been a constant. I've always loved making stuff with my hands. And I feel like this is what you lose in the digital age where you're just so in a campaign where you shoot it. Like obviously I love shoot days, but when you're just editing on a computer, making graphics, making sort of like, you know, Instagram, blah, 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 which doesn't mean anything. Not It's not real, you know what I mean? I can make something. This is why I thought this business is gonna be perfect because it's gonna be more like from the heart you can see an end result. It's not just on a screen. You can pick it up, you can feel it, you can touch it. You can probably smash it, let's hope not. Um, but I, I want something real and I feel like doing this is something real. So you're gonna get a little bit more real me, I think, with this. Um, but as I say, basically, photography, videography, videography's my bag, shoot campaigns, uh, some big campaigns, big brands, like uh, some big jewelry brands, uh, big clothing campaigns here in the UK and abroad. Uh, last year I was lucky enough to go over to the Pyrenees with this jewellery brand. I've got a couple of big fashion brands interested, but this is the classic one, right? Don't do anything for months. Go, right, this is an absolute nightmare. Let's start a business. Start the business day one, day two. Hi, Christian, can you, uh, can you, shoot, this, can you shoot this campaign for me in London? It's like, yeah, obviously I can, but it's just classic, you know what I mean? Um, so you don't hear anything from them as soon as you do you, phone call. But yeah, that's it, that's pretty much me. So background in selling stuff, background in making things look cool, background of my own little Instagram, like obviously I, I do like Instagram, don't get me wrong, but I don't like how it's, you know, twisted and contrived and fake, which it is. Um, and this is why I wanna do something real, this is why this YouTube is completely different from my old one. And this is where you're probably gonna see the real me as well. So I think that's pretty much me. You've got my name, you've got my background, you've got obviously why I want to get into it, and I've sort of told you, hence the <coughs> squeaky chair, what business this is going to be. So I wanna set the 10 minute, this has probably already been 10 minutes, but I wanna set a 10 minute uh, timer so we don't run over and obviously it's not gonna be a massively long YouTube. Or I could just cut this YouTube, say this is an intro and have two. But I've called it Numo Uno, so this is probably gonna be it. Right, okay, timer. So we've got 10 minutes starting now. Right, okay. So what have I done? How have I set up the business? How have I even got the idea? Obviously I've told you I've always loved like making things on my hands, making clay, making plasticine, making models. I love Ardman. I love the, you know, even like uh, Watson Gromit, like uh, Nick Park, he's a bloody legend. Like all these people, all these things, all these cartoons, all these clay animations, um, Creature Comforts, massive, huge fan when that was on. And even Shaun the Sheep now, you know what I mean? Legendary, clay, animated, even the animated films, they've gone down and done, but Wallace and Gromit has got to be one of my favorites. I'm not really doing anything to do, this is the uh, this is the epiphany I had when I was in bed. Uh, it was like, right, I always feel really, really good and more like, you know, like ready for it in January. I'm not really a Blue Monday type of guy. I'm just like, right, this is happening, this is news, this is fresh start, you can do anything you want, the world's your oyster type of thing. Uh, so I was sitting there and I was like, I just wanna do something real, do something that will make a difference, do something that I can channel my you know, talents on obviously both sides. If I'm not getting any video jobs, if no one really wants me to do their business, I'll just bloody do my own. Um, so that was one of the major things I really, really wanted to do because sometimes when I'm not doing anything, not editing, not, I can only come up with so many ideas personally, so this is something where I just wanna take next level and absolutely you know, smash smash at uh, so hopefully that'd be pretty bloody good but yeah I've not got a pot as well uh, I've not got any idea how to make a pot I literally whipped out uh, my girlfriend Louisa had one of those like she's had it in the shed for ages she was like I've got a pot as well I was like no bloody way you've got a pot as well get this pot as well at six plus I was like I am the type of man to learn on this thing it literally had no power no speed I did make some things I will show you in the next uh, YouTube video, which uh, some are embarrassing, but then obviously I changed it up. It's pretty really good. But tomorrow is my first lesson in the pottery games. I'm doing an introductory course back in my hometown. 
uh, all about you know pottery, the wheel, everything, what clays. I have been doing so obviously. So that was my idea. That was how it went. I was like, right, what can I actually do? So I got given loads of like I don't know obviously if anyone else got this for Christmas, but diaries. I got like self help books, like positivity books. I was like, is someone actually trying to tell me something? And to be honest, I think they actually were. This has come at the perfect time. So basically, started filling out this right self help book. I can probably link some of the uh, self help on uh, self help books down below. This is a Vex King. Vex King, he's always done some positive books. Amazing, really, really good. That's really super helpful. A simple diary. This is actually a legend planner. It actually says legend on the front as well, which is super cool. Uh, it's got everything in. It's got like what makes you fill it all out. So I've been doing this and it's just been super helpful. And I love nothing more than starting January off with a diary. It just sorts your whole bloody life out. So yeah, I. Strongly recommend a diary. Um, obviously, I've got a big book of you know notes, which I want to show you as well, which is somewhere. But this one really helped me out as well. The Fashion Business Manual. Obviously, I know I'm not doing anything to do with fashion, but it's it's a business manual and it's got so many bloody good. You just go through. It's everything from you know the start of how to set it up. This is what obviously what I'm trying to tell you guys, and just come on the journey with me. But basically, it's just a really really good book from everything you need, from brand names to obviously your direction of the brand, who your customer, uh, customer target customers are, to literally like what you should sell, but obviously major, like majorly dependent on like, you know, the fashion type of thing. Mine's not the fashion thing, but I've been also looking at a lot of YouTube videos and the YouTube videos have been absolutely amazing. I've gone from like wedging clay to sort of like choosing your clay you've got your you know earthware you've got your top your porcelain which is supposedly the mother-in-law of all clays which you shouldn't obviously use because it's like a it's like a marshmallow but to be honest i literally think this is this would be funny right because i'll tell you how it actually goes but i think tomorrow i'm going to walk into this introduction course and just be like bash pot bash pot and just be an absolute legend at it uh, that is a little bit my ego i'm not gonna lie but I really do think I'm just going to get it straight away and I've been I've been on the 6 plus machine that obviously went an absolute dream I've been making quite a lot of like prototypes so that was one of my first like sort of first things after I dropped my big notepad of all these ideas I started physically making stuff first of all that plastic sinks I had loads uh, still lying around and secondly you know, obviously, because I had some clay in the garage, like some, I think it's just like earthware, like grey classic school clay, probably very cheap, but really good, really, like really, really good to get your hands on. I'm going to see how long we've got the timer. The squeaky chair says four minutes, 58. We're not that bad. So, yeah, I want to find this book, and I don't know where it is. I'm trying to have a little look around the room, but basically that has been sorting me out. So I want to pause the timer there for a second. Okay, he's got it. He's got it. Right, so, well, I may as well, I mean, this is going to be top secret stuff, but it's got to come out sometime, but uh, I want to call, so obviously, my brand, brand, I use the term loosely, I have got a blog, I have been blogging for ages, and I do like, you know, have an active social media account, nothing huge, but I do like it, I do like show my outfits, blah, 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 but obviously, I've, I've got this huge passion of outfits, styling, 70s, vintage, rock and roll that's my that's my bag but i was like i've seen a lot of girls do this in the pottery and my sister has just started a little pottery brand which is absolutely fuming about that i've taken over not taken over but like copied she's like you're always copying me and i'm not gonna lie whether we'll go for this ambulance to go by not gonna lie she's done a really bloody good job and i think if um as soon as i did me she just ramped up hers and i'm like right okay we can have this little bit of a friendly, you know, competition. She's been in the markets, she knows how to fire, she's making all the pinch cups and all that. I don't wanna do pinch cups, I wanna go in ultra, ultra high end ceramics because I went to Liberty in the summer and there's some bloody amazing things in there from plates to, you know, espresso cups to even just like novelty ornaments. But that's the stuff I wanna make. I wanna make high end, fucking cool. Uh, ceramics and I think I've got a really bloody good idea as well so I it took it took us ages to think of the brand name but I think I've got it and I think it encapsulates everything for the brand so I think we've probably got three minutes left but I'll, I'll tell you so the first thing I did was write loads of words 
and then I've got The Rolling and The Stoned. So obviously my favourite band is The Rolling Stones, but The Rolling, as in The Rolling Out of the Clay, and then it basically turns to stone when it's fired. And I thought The Rolling and The Stoned, and I was like, I checked Instagram to see if it was like an actual handle I could use. It's a bloody good handle I can use and it's free. So I've got the YouTube, this one, I've got the Instagram, the Instagram, I've been posting across that, I've been finding in sport images on Pinterest. That's like the first week, that's what I did. I was like, right, what will this brand encapsulate? How can I build the brand? This is what I do in the past, this is what I do for a job. I'm really good at it, I'm not gonna lie, blow my own trumpet. We'll have to get like a little trumpet noise I can just keep on keep on playing as I, you know, my ego talks. Um, but yeah, I wrote down all the things, the words, the brand name cups, it's like luxury, rock and roll, cool, on brand, 70, stylish, jet set, classic, rock star, music related, smoke, sex, risky, aesthetic, sex sells, sex sells, famous, moody, special, art, unique, sought after, and basically the list goes bloody on, right? And I went to Pinterest, start a Pinterest page, get all your ideas down there, think of something cool, Think of a good brand name. That's gonna be my first lesson because I know I'm probably gonna run out of time, but I hopefully, wait, <laughs> let's have a little look, sweetie chair. I've got 148. I hope this is gonna be like a good thing and I hope I can just come in anytime, no matter what I look like, because I'm not bothered literally anymore because it's not about me, it's about the porcelain, it's about ceramics, it's about the you know making of said items. But yeah, I've got a good idea. I've got, I think I've got a bloody cool brand name, the Ronin Stone. I think I've got uh, some cool prototypes, which I'll show you in the next video. And I'm our first pottery class tomorrow. So it should be, it should be a good one, fingers crossed. It'll be funny, I'll start the next video of actually how the course went, because uh, I think it's gonna go effortlessly. And I think they'll probably all stand up at the end and just go, Christian, thanks, thanks for coming. You're a legend. Um, and tune in next time to see if I actually am a legend. But thanks for listening. Come and follow me on this journey uh, at the Rolling and the Stoned. The Rolling and the, I missed the off there, classic. The Rolling and the Stoned on Instagram. All the links are in the description. Come and see how I start this business and see how it progresses. Uh, thanks for your support and tune in next week for another episode. Cheers and I'll see you in a bit.